Hey, good evening, Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Can you hear me? Miguel Bolaños. Hi, I was looking at another thing. <laughs> oh, it's okay, man. How are you? How was your Friday? Uh, it live fine, probably. It was I good. Started the, 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 yeah. Okay. At the start, the platform wasn't really helping me much but in the end i managed to yeah i know <laughs> it's it's okay um the thing is that uh i don't know the platform is very very picky you know but don't worry about that we're gonna we're gonna take a um we're gonna take care of that so uh cool. did we finish all section number one is that at 100 percent? yes it is for me okay very good okay what about um well, we haven't finished section number two. Um, we're gonna go through that today. Yeah. So I'm liking two twelve for number two. All right, but yeah, we're gonna work on that today. Uh, what about you, Lydia? How are you? How was your day today? Hi, all fine. In your day? It was good. It was good. I'm very tired now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a lot of work, you know, but I'm glad that I have, you know, I'm glad that I work a lot, right? But yeah, like, you know, I, I wish I could go out, but I'm so tired that I really don't want to go out. Plus, you know, it's raining and, you know, I don't know, like all of a sudden, you know, I, I don't know if you see, have you seen the situation in Honduras, Guatemala? Dude, I mean, Honduras uh with the hurricane it's 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 crazy man like really really crazy all right um uh, okay so ellie welcome ellie nice to see you all right so uh guys let's let's get started guys uh by solving whatever we have left so we can well we wait for the rest okay all right so so lydia and ellie i'm gonna need your help here to to let me know of uh, everything from section one that you might have not finished. We're gonna finish, all of these guys should should be finished already, right? Up Everything up until uh, up until the listening exercise, okay? Because we're gonna do this today. We're gonna finish the rest of the day, okay? But, um, but section number one needs to be like completely over. So Lydia and Ellie, did you? Teacher, did, but I finished all the section one. Okay. I have problems in section two. Very good, very good. If you have issues in section two, uh, we're gonna talk about that right now. Okay. Okay, I, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna send a broadcast message again, guys. So if you receive this message, it's not for you specifically, it's just a broadcast, a message for everybody. Hold on, give me one second. Okay, good. All right, so what what exercises from the section two are you having issues with? I have a problem with the, with the present perfect uh, versus simple past. 
Okay, is that is that this one? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's this one right here, okay? Okay, so do me a favor, can you share your screen? Let, let's share your screen yeah. so we can because I have we have solved them already. So um so share so your I, screen. I try it but I can. You mean sharing the screen or just oh no no we can we can see your screen very good. All right, so let's see what we have. Hey Thomas, hello sir. Mr. Thomas, nice to see you. How are you? All right, bring that energy today, Mr. Thomas. <laughs> we bring all that good vibes. You're muted, by the way. If you're talking, Thomas, you're muted. We cannot hear you, yeah. Okay, here we are. There yeah, we go. Thank you. <laughs> all right, very good. Again. Trying my best. Very good. So we're we're gonna. I'm helping everyone, right, everybody, right now with section two. Uh, Thomas, did you solve everything from section one? Uh, in one point two, I'm having issues solving the the written the written part. Okay, yeah, that, right. I'll help uh, you with 1. that. One point two. I'll help you with that. So, so right now, if you want, go to section two point two, so we can uh, take a look at the. So we can take a look at the answers here. Okay, very good. So first, uh, first, first exercise, Lydia. Uh, okay, it says have stole. Okay. Have stole. Remember, yes. we have three type of forms of the verb, right? We have steal, which is the base form. Very good. Okay. Stole, which stole. is simple past, and we have third, past participle. Okay. And stole. When, yes. So when you use, when you're talking present perfect, you are gonna use past participle. <laughs> All right, last night about 10, 1 a.m., the alarm. Now, is this simple past, Lydia, or, or present perfect? What do you think? Teacher, I am not sure about it because I don't understand that, that, that topic because I was sick, so. Because you what? I'm sorry? I was sick, so in the Oh, class, you were sick. I, I okay. was very Okay, okay, very good. All right, but if I say the alarm, do you think that it makes, all right, just try to figure it out right now, okay? Uh, does, it makes more, does it make more sense right now to say the alarm went off or the alarm, the alarm, the alarm has gone off? What do you think? What makes sense right now? What makes more, the think, most sense is, uh -huh. I think that is uh, past because it's, it's a specific time. Very good, okay, so let's go. All right, let's use simple past. Very good, okay. Good job, all right, scroll down. Now it says police, okay. Uh, police, the police rushed to the building immediately or the police um, has rushed to the building immediately? Maybe has. So present perfect. All right, remember this one, does it have a, does it have, just think about the time, right? Does it have a specific time or does it not have a specific time? Time reference, I mean, not, not, not time. Don't have a specific time. Okay, very good. So, in, uh, okay, very good. Now, what do you think guys? Past perfect, I mean, uh, sim uh, present perfect or simple past? Um, where are we? Uh, number 2. five? 2.2, uh, number three. Okay, number three. Uh huh. Um, Miguel. Let me find it. Help us here, Miguel. Sorry, I wasn't putting attention. Two point two. Yes. Let's see. Number three was rushed. Uh huh. Rushed. Okay. All right, so you use simple rushed. past. Mm -hmm. Very good, okay? So police rushed to the building immediately, okay? All right, so let's use simple past there, okay? But they, they have been there too late or they, uh, or they were there too late? They were, they were there too late. Okay, they were, right? Remember the verb being, they uh, is where, right? Right after learning of the robbery, the major, 
set up a telephone hotline for information about the theft or an or 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 present perfect. Now here guys, are we giving a time reference? After the robbery. Lydia, what do you think? Are we giving a time reference here? No. What what about right after learning of the robbery? Is that a time reference? Yeah, yeah, it is because right after the the robbery happened, uh, he he gave the um, he gave us information on what to do after that. Okay, do my favor. It. Scroll up, scroll up, uh, scroll up, Lydia, because that there's something that I want to see. Can you repeat me? Sorry. Yes. Uh, could you please scroll up? Go up, go up a little bit. Okay. Okay, very good. I right, scroll down again. Scroll down again. Okay, guys. So what do you have in number five? Dead. Simple past? Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good job. Okay, All right. Let's try to set up a telephone hotline, okay? So set. Set. Okay. Set up. Okay. All right. Number six, guys, okay. Three people have, have called, called so far or have called, called so far. Have, have called, called, right? Very good job. Very good job. Okay. So three people have called so far. Very good. So now I want you to notice something, Lydia. When we said right after learning of the robbery, that is a time reference. That is a okay. okay, because we're giving a specific time. Okay. Oh, when did that happen? Or oh, when we, did we learn about that? Oh, we learned that right after, you know, I mean, we did that after, right, uh, right after learning of the robber, okay? So we're saying, we're talking about specific time, all right? Now, they believe it is probable, probable that the thieves left the city or have left the city? Have left the city. Okay, very good. Okay, all right, have left the city. Okay, let's go with that, have left the city. All right. All right. Now the curator of this of the Grand Gallery has offered has, or offered. Has offered. Has offered. Right. There is no specific time reference. Okay. So, has offered. Very good. What's okay. the meaning of curator? Uh, I'll I'll tell you right now. Hold on. Offered. Very good. Okay. And a curator, guys, is a person who takes care of the art. Okay. Teacher, now, in the first, what is the problem? The problem is that it's a group of people, so that is in third person. All right, has. a group of thief, of thieves has yes, because we're talking about one group of people, right? Good. Thank you. Very good, very good. Okay, all right. So uh, before 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 okay, I was gonna say before you stop sharing, a curator, guys is the person who takes care of the uh, of the art within a, an art museum. Well, actually, a curator is a, a person who takes care of, you know, of, uh, yeah, of the gallery, you know, of the art gallery. All right? So, oh, okay. So that that's it, okay? Very good, guys. So Ellie says 1.2. We've already gone through the one, the, the exercise in the section one, guys, okay? But let's go back. Yeah, right. that's what I'm having. That's what I'm having issues. Like I don't know if I have to write a comma or. No, it's okay. Uh, no, the only thing and, that, I, that, um, I, that teacher, I was... teach one more thing. Like uh, I'm trying to solve the the the, the first exam, uh, the reading exercise, in 1.12, and it doesn't allow me to send the the answers. Uh, and it happened to me in the other sections too, because okay. I tried to solve. To complete, you need to complete the exercise. We're gonna we're gonna go. No, I already guess. done everything. I'm doing the reading exercise, and I I I try to solve it, send the answer. When I do send, it doesn't allow me to. Okay. Uh, All right, guys, 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 guys. Okay, let's 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 move on, guys. Okay. Now I will give you the answers real quick, guys, because I have already given you the answers in previous classes. Okay. All okay. right. It they are on the videos. Okay. All right. Now, to respect people who have been coming to class and have already finished this, I'm just going to show you the answers, okay? Because we got to move on, all right? So, uh, so tell me which exercises you're having issues with. All of them. Uh, no, I me, mean, like, like, to me, the uh, five and six. You mean 1.5? Yeah, one point, no, 1.2, um, the question number 
five and six. Okay, question number five, okay, all right? That is the, this is the answer. Yeah. All right, take a screenshot or whatever. In many cultures, it's customary to hug friends when you greet them. Yeah, it is the way that I am. No, the guys, here. okay, hold on, guys. When you have an issue with this is because of the of the colon, all right? All right, this, guys, this is an apostrophe. You have to use an apostrophe. If you don't, yeah, I'm using an apostrophe. All right, uh, guys, believe me. I've seen cases where people think that that's an apostrophe, but it's not. Can you share your screen, uh, Eli? Uh, yeah, listo. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go. Share your screen. Share your screen and let's see what's going on. Okay. So you have to be really careful, guys, with punctuation and using apostrophes. Okay. All right. Good. So, okay, we can go back then to 2.3, I think, 2. Point, yeah, that's where we're going to go. Yes, but uh, what about the other exercises? Uh, uh, did you finish the other ones? Oh, in, in section one, let me uh -huh. see. Let me All right. see. I'm going to go back again. Uh, so, my computer is really slow for some it's, reason. It's, it's okay, man. It's okay, don't worry. It's an right. Apple computer, but it's really slow. <laughs> That's why it's slow because it's Apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we are uh, learning actually. Okay. Hi, El Eli, were you able to share your screen? No. Okay, so so since we have already done this and it's on the video, Ellie, what we're going to do, you already have the answers, okay? They are absolutely correct, okay? What's happening yeah. is that you, you're, you're okay. typing it in. There is something incorrect on what you're typing in, right? So if you want, send, yeah, me, send, me, send me what you have typed in, and I'll tell you okay. if it is right or wrong. Because okay. the most common problem, guys, is the apostrophe. There are characters yeah. in your keyboard, guys, okay? And there is one that looks like an apostrophe, but it's not an apostrophe. All okay. Right? So, for example, we have, let's see if it comes up here. It doesn't come up. What is it? Uh, okay. So, there is, anyways, there is a character, guys, that looks like an apostrophe, but it's not an apostrophe. And when, when you put mm -hmm. it in like that, it won't accept the answer, okay? Yeah. When okay. we uh, I'm having copy and paste in 1.8. I only have one, one eight. Yeah, I only have one right. He asked me if I have right. Okay. But then the other ones I don't know what the problem is. Um okay. I have tried many different Okay, all right. So let's go to all right. These are the answers. Okay, you have 10 seconds to take a screenshot. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. We good? Mm. I don't see it. Okay. What about now? Have you s not, not yet. Okay. Like this? But you're gonna have to take. I mean, you can take a screenshot and then you know zoom it in, because <laughs> otherwise I will have to take like take like eight the eight screen screenshots. Has been shared. Oh, the screen is not being shared. I'm sorry. No, no. Exactly the screen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. Go for it. We good? Yeah. All right, very good. Can we move on from section one, guys? Yeah. Yes, very good. Um, I have oh, a little man. question. Like Tell in me. section one, 1. 1.12, um, I can't send the answers. Like I already take the test, but for some weird reason, it doesn't allow me to send the, but I have to, I don't know who I have to talk to about that. So what, what is that, the, the error that you get? Uh, I can't send anything. Like I try to send the answers, but it doesn't let me. But what is, I mean, I, but I mean, if you a, tell me that it won't let you, I don't know. What do you see? Can you describe what you see? Okay. Um, well, I, I answer all the questions and at the end it say MBR. And when you push it, it doesn't send anything. Okay. So let's and, answer and all the questions. Okay. 
And no, then, but in, in my case, I already done it like many times. And when I try, when I pay, when I, when I, try, when I do the standing part. Clean the, clean the cash, limpiar right. cash. It's, it's, it's working. Yeah, you try to clear your, your cash. Hey, yeah, good idea, Ali. Try to clear your cash or try to do it from another device. Maybe your cell phone. Okay, okay I'm, I'm going to do it from my, from my cell phone later on. Because it is. If I, I just did it, right, and it's working. So it might be something from the browser, you know. Uh, oh. The platform, yeah, it's working there. Okay, but uh, everything else good, guys, from uh, from section one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good, okay. Teacher, sorry, no. I have a problem in section one, but I want you to see it because I don't know what is the, the problem. Go ahead, share your screen, don't worry, share okay. your screen. Here. I don't know what is the problem. Okay. In the US is not unusual. Um, all right, uh, it's okay, all right, take a look. Okay, all right, nobody says anything. All right, take a look, even, even Google, even actually the internet, the platform is telling you what's wrong there. When you see that, that, that red line, under a word, it means that it's misspelled, okay? What is the problem here? Okay, I'm explaining that to you right now. When you see that line, that red line on your, the yeah. word, it means that there is a misspelling, okay? So it's misspelled, that word is misspelled. Sorry, I don't understand you. You didn't spell it right. Yes. What? No, the, the spelling is incorrect. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. All right, yeah, what I'm saying, all right, is just that uh, I shouldn't be speaking Spanish, guys. Cuando te sale una línea roja abajo de una palabra, significa que está mal deletreado. Okay. Okay. O mal escrita. Exactly, so try to, try to correct that right now. Addressing, right? Addressing is misspelled there. Like this? No, that's also incorrect. Okay, guys, how do you spell addressing? There you go, Miguel. Miguel sent it to you. Mm -hmm. No, you, you. Okay. So, okay, right. Try to try to submit it. Is that how you really spell it? Yeah, that's how you spell it. Went to check my answer. Yeah, no, that, 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 that's how you spell it. Okay, I right, try to click on submit and see if that works. You put the dot, final. Okay, all right. Why address, there is something, it says that there is something wrong with that spelling, but it's. I am not sure about it. Okay, all right. Scrolling, uh, there may keep scrolling. There may be a second of the space in between two words. Oh yeah, that's true. That had a mistake originally. That's true, guys. Yeah, that's true, guys. If you have an extra space in between words or after at the end, you know, it also takes it. You know, it, it will also give you a, an error at the end. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Unusual. Okay. There you go. So yeah, yeah. hey, bravo, Miguel. Woo! <laughs> All right, Miguel for travel shooter, Miguel the travel shooter. Okay, good job. Okay, so are we good, guys? Are we finally good with section one? Yes, very good, guys. Yes. So let's move on to the with the class, guys. Thank you. Okay. So by now, guys, okay, the exercises we're gonna finish the other exercises, but the ones that we should have finished by now. Are, uh, is exercise 1.2. Everybody, has everybody finished? Uh, I'm sorry, not, not 1.2. Oh um, my God, I'm seeing section two. one again. Two. Hold on, let's go back to section two, guys. Okay. All right, so this one, guys, okay? Uh, 2.2 and 2.5, okay? These are the ones that we should have finished by now, okay? So let's bring them up. And uh, so, the, is everybody done with um, with the knowledge check 2.2, guys? 
2.2, yes. Okay, very good. Uh, Lydia, Eli, Fatima, are we good with section 2.2? Yeah. Okay, very good, okay. What about 2.5? Are we um, good with 2.5? Yeah. Okay, all right. Lydia, we, we, we good for, um, are we good with section 2.5? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. Very good, guys. So if you couldn't do it like the other ones, guys, okay? This is the one that uh, you need to do yesterday, okay? So we're going to solve this one, okay? All right. So let's get started. Miguel. All right. What is the answer for number one here? Uh, sorry. Yeah, what is, the, what is the answer for number one? An epidemic. Okay, an epidemic. Okay, an epidemic. Very good. Okay, Douglas, number two. A scandal. A scandal. Very good. All right, Thomas, number three. Um, <coughs> That's all right. Uh, uh, an epidemic, I think. An epidemic. Very good. Number four. Uh, Lydia, number four. No, very true. natural disaster. Now, natural disaster. Very good. Ellie, number? No, number, number three. Number three is natural disaster. Okay, so number three, you say it's natural disaster. Number four, what is it then? Uh, an unusual family. A what? An unusual an family. family. Okay, an, un an unusual family. Hey, there's a, there's a spelling mistake here. It says unusual. And unusual, mm -hmm. okay. Very good, guys. All right, so uh, part two, guys. TV is dangerous because it affects the heart. Is that true or false? Oh. False. Okay, false. Okay, very good. Right. Number two, Fatima, uh, one third of all TV cases are uns uh, unstreetable. It should say uh, untreatable, untreatable, guys, okay? <laughs> untreatable. <laughs> What is that? So, so Fatima, what do you think? Is that true or, fo or false? I couldn't be in class yesterday and I couldn't finish that exercise. Okay, right, right. Let's, let's finish yeah, so it right, I, right now. Yeah, I didn't finish the, listen to the audio. Okay, right. Let's finish it right now as we're doing this. Okay, uh, Miguel, what is this? It's, it's true. Very good. Okay, number three, Douglas. Uh, false. Okay, right. False. All right, number four. Cool. All right. All right, you say number four is false. What about number five? Hurricane mm -hmm. Pauline has trapped some people in their homes. Is that true? true? Number four. Oh, number four is true. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what yeah. about number five? True. true. It's true. Okay, right, number five, true. Number six. False. False. Okay, number seven. False. 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 Okay, very good. I, uh, number eight. False. False. Too. Okay, very good. All right. So, very good. So let's, uh, let's submit it. All good, guys. Okay, you got the right answers. Very good. So up until here, guys, we should be clear, okay? All right, so okay. everything up until here should be absolutely clear, okay? So let's start, guys, with the grammar class now, and then we're going to complete exercises 2.11 and uh, 2.12, okay? All right. All right. Uh, you will have the midterm, guys, after this, and the midterm, you will have to do it alone, okay? So we're not going to do that together. Um, review anything that you need to review, and good luck. Okay, guys. So we're gonna go, we're gonna talk about adverbs, right? Um, so first of guys, what what is an adverb? What does an adverb modify? The verb. Okay, very good. Okay, an adverb. Okay, very good. An adverb can modify. Okay, an adverb can modify a verb. Uh, it can modify. An adjective, 
and it can modify another adverb, okay? But never, guys, the adverb never modifies the noun. The, the adverb never is modified the? Noun. Okay. In, in subject. Okay, so the adverb never modifies the noun, okay? All right, so that is that is the biggest rule. Okay, so now we have, we're going to learn, guys, about adverbs with simple past and past perfect, okay? All right, uh, we're going to we're gonna learn about the adverbs to describe something that happens at that later time, okay? Something that will happen in the short time. Um, in the short future, okay? All right, so what are those adverbs? Okay, help me read, uh, Douglas. What are the first adverbs that we have? Uh, afterward, later, the next day. Okay, very good. Afterwards, later, the next day, the following day. What else, guys? What else do you think that we could use? Think about short future, okay? What else, what other adverbs can we use? For short future. Next week. Okay, next week. Very good. Okay. All right. What else, guys? The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Okay. Good job. Good job. Miguel, give me another one. Uh, minutes later. All right. Minutes. Minutes. Not minutes. Minutes, okay. minutes, minutes, minutes later. Minutes later. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. So we can use that. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. So help me read the first example, Miguel. Sorry, my computer was messing up a little with me. Okay, that's okay. The first example will be afterwards, later, the next day, we laugh about it. Very good, okay, okay, so let's, okay, so the next day, later, the afterwards, uh, we laughed about it. But now, notice something, guys. This sentence right here, what tense do we have here? Is that, is that in the future? The past, simple past. Okay, that is simple past. So, if I say, guys, if I say, the next day we laugh together, am I talking about tomorrow? Am I talking about next week? Am I talking about the future or the past? Even though I'm saying the next day. The future. Okay, you say that it's the future. What do you think, Thomas? Um. What are, what are we? I'm sorry, I'm trying to copy. <laughs> okay, very uh, good. It's, it's okay. All right. So if I say the next, okay, if I say the next day, we laugh together, okay, we laughed about it. Am I talking about the future or am I talking about the past? The next day, we laugh together. Uh, okay. okay. We're talking about present, well, future, but we don't use will. Okay, all right, let's get, let's get our beautiful line again, okay? All right, so let's pretend, guys, okay? This is, this is the present, okay? Or right, whatever. This is the present. Now, let's say that you did something, okay? That you, oh, okay, got you, it, did, got some, it, got you it. did something <laughs> here, and this is, this is Monday, okay? All right, should be capitalized here, okay? All right, so this is Monday. All right, and then and Tuesday, and then, then we got, got Tuesday here. Mm -hmm. But remember, we're always in the. We're always in the. the we're past. always in the past, okay? So if I say, guys, oops, we had a party on Monday. So, okay, so if we if I say, you know what, um, the next day, um, we were sober. Okay, so so I got drunk. Okay, so I got drunk. Okay, I got on drunk Monday. on Monday. Okay, all right, and then after Monday, I will say so. Here, guys, right here, this is the next, next day. day. So far, so good. Yes, sure. Okay, so here is the next day, right? Okay, hold on. Let me retype it in here. Okay, so the next day was what? It was? So, the past. So, okay, it was Tuesday, okay? It was Tuesday, okay? 
So here, okay, see here, Pilsenoberto, right? Pilsenoberto is drunk, okay? All right, but here, okay, here he is sober, okay? All right? All right? But remember, guys, okay, this is the... Past. This past. is the past, right? So, if I say, guys, if I say this sentence, okay, you know... I got drunk. I got drunk on Monday. The next day, I was sober. I was sober. Now, so it's in the past. So, is it in the past or, or is it in the past or in the present, Douglas? Uh, it's still in the past. It's still in the past, right? Very good, okay? All right, let's take a look at another example, okay? Uh, I know Thomas has good examples, okay? <laughs> Thomas looks like he understands everything, so. Okay, so let's use another another adverb, okay? Let's use afterwards, okay? So let's create a sentence with afterwards. I uh, have a question. Tell me. Uh, what's the difference between after difference. and afterwards? Afterwards? Very good question. Uh, it's just another, another way of saying after. Instead, of, It's like mm. saying after that. All right, mm -hmm. it's just uh, so you cannot, so you do not repeat the same uh, word over and over again. All right, when you're talking, you're, you don't want to you don't want to say, uh, oh, you know what, we went to the movies after we cooked dinner, after, okay, because you're sounding repetitive, okay, instead of that, you can say, we went to the movies, after that, we went to the, we went to the beach, uh, so we had something to eat, uh, afterwards, okay, we had, so it's just another way of saying it, you know? And also afterwards is like very shortly, all right? So it's not like, it's not like immediately, okay? It's like, so if you say after that, it's like you're, you're doing things like exactly right after you finish one action. Afterwards is exactly. a little bit longer, got it? All right, I got it. Okay, very good, okay? So afterwards is a little bit, a little bit longer. All right, very good. So uh, let's get another example, okay? Uh, simple past. Uh, Thomas, give me an example. Um, simple past. Mm -hmm. I had a party on Monday. Okay, very good. Okay, so you say, all right. So Thomas says, I had a party on Monday. Okay. <clears throat> I gave you this example, but you don't necessarily need to use the days of the week, right? So, but, yeah. but it's okay. I had a party on Monday, okay? Uh-huh. Or I had a party. I uh, had a party, huh? I had a party. The next day, I was let, really tired. Let, let's, let's use another adverb, not the next day. Okay. Uh, after that, I after was really that, tired. Very good. After that, I was really tired, okay? Okay, so if I say after that, am I still, am I still talking in the past, guys? Or in or now in the present or in the future? It's just still in the past. All right, it's still in the past. Very good job, okay? All right, very good. So uh, give another example, Miguel. Let's see. Using the adverb later. Well, I was thinking of an example, but later I, I just didn't have an idea of what example to give. I was thinking, right, I was thinking of an example, all right, but later, later what? I still didn't have any idea of what example to give. Okay, but later I still didn't have any idea, idea of what example. <laughs> <laughs> what example to give okay all right good job okay that was that was very complex but good job okay all right very good so now guys okay now this is this in the present in this in, is this in the future is this in the past where is it we're easy where is it? <laughs> all right it's still in the past guys okay so it's all right dora the explorer right where is it guys right? <laughs> all right so, okay. <laughs> so it is still in the past, okay? Very good, very good, okay? 
Uh, from one to ten, Miguel, how much how, how much do you do you understand this? Um, sort of uh, nine. Okay, all right. Nine is good. Douglas, how much? Uh, I understand very well. I okay. don't have a don't have doubts. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Hey, you you used to be more smiley, Douglas. <laughs> once you what happened <laughs> guys it's, oh, it's, it's kind of tired once you reach advanced guys everybody becomes like more serious i don't know why <laughs> everybody's happier you know in an immediate and in, in basic but once you hit advanced it's, it's crazy now i understand man i'm tired too the more okay guys so uh let's see um ellie give me an example ellie with one all right give me an example Hello. with Give me an example with um, with afterwards. Oh my god! It's okay. I mean, it's I just to... all right. Give me an example with whatever oh. adverb you want to give me. All right, the next day. Okay, let's use the next the next day. Uh, the next day I was uh, feeling too late. <laughs> the next day, I was feeling what? Can I? I was feeling. Uh, un poquito perezosa. Or right. okay, all right. No Spanish. I was feeling a little bit lazy. Okay. okay. Very good. So the yeah, next day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next day, I was feeling a little bit lazy. Very good, guys. Very, very, very good. Okay. All right, now let's take a look at the second type of examples, okay? So now, what do, what else do we use uh, these adverbs for? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, we use it to describe two things that happen at the same time. When Very we do job. two things at the same moment, uh, like uh, right after church, I went to my friend's house. Okay, very good, okay. All right, so, okay, so do this, guys, okay? So let's separate them, okay? Take notes of this. So we have the first, okay? So let's take group of adverbs, okay? So adverbs, okay, adverbs, let's say group one, okay? So adverbs, let's say adverbs group one, okay? So in adverbs group one, guys, okay, you have adverbs that talk about, you know, that talk about, or adverbs used, okay? Adverbs used in simple past. All right, let me make this bigger, okay? So we have adverbs used in simple past, that makes reference to a later time, okay? An example, okay? An example, I drank a lot of, I drank a lot of juice. <laughs> I drank a lot of juice on Monday, all right? All right, not alcohol at all, right? I drank a lot of juice on Monday. Tequila. All right. <laughs> Just with tequila, yes. All right, I drank a lot of juice on Monday. The next day, all right, I was feeling sick, okay? All right. So, uh, so what is, what is, the, what is the, um, the adverb here, right? The next day. The next right? day. Okay, I was feeling sick. So, so see, an adverb used in simple past. Are we using simple past? Yes, simple past, yes or not? Yes. Yes, yeah. right, okay. That makes reference to a later time in the past. Okay, I forgot, in the past, okay. So even though, guys, we're using, you know, the following day, the next day, we're still talking about a situation that happened in the past, okay. So that is the group of adverb, okay, of adverbs um, number one, okay? So let's take a look at 
Adverbs group number two. Group two, two okay. So adverbs group two, guys, okay? All right, we use this, okay? We, I'm sorry, we use these two to uh, describe, okay? So it describes, well, actually they, right? They describe um, two things that, okay, I'm gonna highlight this, two things that happen at the same time, all right? So now let's take a look at, uh, oh, it should be like down here, like that, okay? So let's take a look at the first example, okay? So the first example says, when, as soon as the moment, okay? So you can say, uh, as soon as I got to work, okay? Okay, as, this is the other, as soon as I got to work. I got fired. <laughs> okay, my boss, uh, well, I got fired. That's, that's a good example. <laughs> my boss asked to speak to me, right? So my boss asked, right, to speak to me. Okay, so now, uh, see, we're still talking, we're still talking about the past, guys, right? All right, so now uh, in the first example, guys, the, the adverbs, okay, the adverbs that we're gonna use here, and I forgot that, I'm sorry, afterwards, okay, so afterwards. Later. Later, all right, the next day. There are more, guys, but we're gonna focus on these three so far, okay? All right, let me raise this. All right, very good. The next day, okay, so in group of adverbs number two, we have, we have what? We have uh, when, as soon as, the moment, okay? So we got when, all right, as soon as, and we got the moment, okay? Very good. Only those three? Yeah, I mean, we have more, but uh, okay, the, this yes, are the, an example. yes, yes, this okay. is an example, right? Very okay. good. All right. Okay. And in group of adverb, uh, in group of adverbs, number three, guys, remember, we're still talking in the past, right? All right. Uh, we have up until then. Okay. So now these adverbs, okay, I want you to look at the presentation, okay? All right, Douglas, tell me read what we use the third group of adverbs for. So over here. Uh, use these adverbs with the past perfect to describe something that was true or that happened before another event in the past. Okay, very good, guys. So we're talking about how many events in the past? We're talking about too many events in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, the, this, sounds, this should sound familiar to you guys, okay? All right, in the first two examples, guys, in the first two groups of adverbs, we were using simple past, all right? Now, we are going to use past perfect. We're going to use? Past perfect. Past perfect. We're going to use past perfect, okay? All right, so, the uh, okay, so let's go back to the whiteboard, okay? So now, uh, adverbs group three, okay? All right, so uh, what do we use it for? I, just, I don't know why it came up, came back up like that. Okay, very good. So what do we use it, guys? To talk about three different okay. things they, that happened in the past. They describe, first off, they describe, right? Okay, they describe something, uh, something very happened. good. Something that was true, okay? All right, so first off, they describe something that was true or something that happened before another action in the past, okay? All right, and we use this, okay? We use this, these uh, um, adverbs with Past perfect. We use it what, guys? 
past perfect. The past we perfect. use it with past perfect, okay? Very good, okay? So, all right, let's take a look at an example, okay? So let's use the first example that we got there, okay? So you can say, up until then, I had never lost anything important, okay? Now, this one, I think, is the easier of, the, of, of, of them all, guys, okay? So up, up until, up until then, I had never lost anything, okay? Okay, so first off, guys, where do you find the, the adverb? At the beginning. Okay, very good. Up until then, right? Now, one thing, guys, that, 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 that I should uh, talk about is that you not only use the adjective at the, at the beginning, but you can also, ooh, what happened? All right, but you can also, oh, I'm going to have to raise this. No. <laughs> I messed up, guys. All right, all right, so scratch this. Uh, let's scratch this up, guys. This one we're going to do, okay? Very good. Makes everything better. All right, so let's go back to the example. All right. So the example, guys, up until now, okay? Now you have, you have the, the other here, all right? And then the sentence, guys, this is what I want you to notice, okay? In what tense is the sentence? I had never, okay, if I say I had never lost anything. So I plus the auxiliary had plus uh, the adverb never plus the past participle plus a complement. Past, past perfect? Past perfect. Very good, guys. That is past perfect, right? All right. Let me give another example, okay? All right, Cheyenne. All right, let's talk about Cheyenne. Okay, Cheyenne. So Cheyenne, all right, had never, uh, had never sung a bad song up until now. So notice something, guys. So I'm using a comma. If I use it at the beginning, guys, I'm going to use a comma, right? But you can also use it at the end. And when you use it at the end, you do not use a comma, right? So you can say, okay. until now, Cheyenne had never sung a bad song. Or you can say, Cheyenne had never sung a bad song until now. Okay? okay. All right? All right. Very good, very good, okay? All right, so you can say before that, okay, up until then. Okay, now, I'm sorry, this should be up until then and not up until now. Now, you can say up until now, guys, but then that's an action that will refer to the present, okay? Up until then. So let's change that to up until then, all right? Although it is correct, guys. If you say up until now, guys, it refers like all the time, you know, in the past, he, he had never sung anything but up until today, like nowadays, you know, this day, right? But if you say up until then, you're still talking about the past. But both of them are correct. You can say up until then or up until now, okay? All right. Uh, you, can say, you can say the same sentence, guys. Cheyenne. All right. So you about um, Cheyenne. Had never sung a bad song before then, before, before that, etc. Okay, let's say before, before then, right? Before or, I inspire him. Before, very good. Okay, be, before <laughs> I inspired him. Very good. You can use that as well, right? <laughs> very good. Okay, but we're gonna focus on this. Okay, before that. Okay. I have I have never understood this part until then. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, I had never understood I had never understood this part. In that case, it would be until now because you're until referring now. Okay. you're referring until you understood until today, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. When you say until then, guys, you refer to uh, like a you know, you're talking about the past, right? So moving forward, guys, um, that is pretty much the gist of it. All right, so we got more examples. Okay. Example number one, I was embarrassed because I called the teacher mom. Afterwards, we all laughed about it, okay? So mom? what is this, simple past or, or, or past perfect? Uh, the simple past. Okay, very good. This is the simple past, okay? What about the second example? The simple past as well. Okay, all right. It is the simple past as well, right? Okay, uh, what about the third one? 
Past Perfect. Past and perfect. went to Japan last year before she had only traveled to Florida. Okay, very good. It is past perfect. Now, when did these actions happen? In the past or in the present? And went to Japan in the past. Okay, right. They all happened in the past, guys, okay? In the past. All right. Wow. So we're still referring to something that happened in, in the past, past, okay? All right, guys. So um, knowledge check, guys, okay? All right. Do these ones, guys. Do these ones on your own, okay? Um, and then if you have troubles, just uh, post post them on the WhatsApp group, okay? And also do the listening exercise. If you have if you have troubles with this, guys, okay, let me know. Remember, guys. All right, let's use let's do the first one, okay? Let's use let's do the first one. Uh, I want to show you guys. You have to make sure, guys, that you use right punctuation, and that please do not confuse an apostrophe with a colon, okay? Well, not not with a colon, but with a quotation mark. Like this, check this out, guys. This, if you do this, guys, you can say it, right? It looks like a like an apostrophe, yes or not? Mm -hmm. Okay, but this is not an apostrophe, guys. This is a quotation mark, right? All right, it, uh, it's a simple, it's a symbol that we used to quote, all right? The, ra the right character is this, see? All right, guys, se parecen un montón, pero si vos pones una, una, una comilla en vez de una apostrofe, te la va a tomar mal. Got it? Got so it. So be really careful with that. Si no sabes cómo sacarle la apostrofe a tu teclado, andate a Google, busca una palabra en inglés, dale copiar y pegar. Right? I did this on my phone. Right? So, so let's, let's do it like that, okay? So this morning, I was on my way to work, all right? Let's try to use another here, guys, and complete the sentence. B. B. Okay. So you think that this is B, right? Read the sentence mm -hmm. and type either I if see. it's B or A, okay? All right, very good. All right, uh, hey. I think we have time to complete them all. All right, uh, last mm -hmm. night, what is yeah. that? Last night I was telling a joke at a dinner party. What is, what is that? Hey. Okay, very good. Hey. I was, I was back in my car out of the garage I crashed into my neighbor's car. B. Okay. B. That is and B. Backing, Very good. backing, what's the meaning? Backing is going Bar back. Woof, woof. Not barking. All right. Okay. Oh, barking. <laughs> but we I can apply barking. this verb <laughs> just for cars. We're going back into uh, driving No, back. you can say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to back out, okay? Back out is yeah. like you, okay? You can, you can back out. But you can go, back out is going in backing. reverse, okay? Backing my car out, yeah. All right, hold on. Okay. All right. It's going in reverse in whatever you are, okay? If you're in a uh, you had to bicycle, you vehicle. can back out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or yourself, man. But the thing is that when you turn around, that is not backing out, okay? You have to go like backwards like this, okay? All right, very good. Uh, number four. I got I the punchline. Punch. I knocked the glass on the, of water on the floor with hey. my hand. Hey. All right, that is A, of course. She had never parked in front of my driveway. What is that? B. B. Yeah. All right, very good. What tense is that? Simple past or past perfect? Mm. Yeah, past never, perfect. Have never past parked, perfect. Uh, very good. Past perfect. All right, I noticed everyone laughed. I wasn't sure if they were laughing at the joke or at me. What is that? Uh, a. a. Past continuous. Okay, a. very good. That's A. Very good, guys. You got it, okay? So the only exercise that we got is the listening exercise, okay? All if right. You have, I had some right. issues with it. One with minute. One minute what? To finish the class. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> all right, guys. So if you had, okay, here, okay. If you don't know, guys, okay. All right. Uh, it's going to be recording the video. So there are the answers. Now, I do oh. need you guys. I do need you, okay, to finish. I think after this, we have the, yeah, we have a midterm, okay. So the midterm, uh, guys. Do, uh, number twelve, uh, one point twelve. I have, uh, I have some problems, but we will talk about it later. Okay, very good. Uh, because um, right. yeah, okay. That, that that's okay. That's okay. Uh, just send message. Just post it, post it on the group because we have already done those ones. But uh, okay. but post them in the group, okay? Now, guys, do me a favor. Uh, finish the midterm, okay? Before Monday, guys. All right, English Corp Part 2 is going to be on top of you uh, to try to finish, to make you finish the, the midterm, okay? 
So all, all right. these exercises, okay? This is a quiz, so finish these ones, okay? Very good, guys. So I hope, guys, that you enjoyed today's class and uh, the day overall. And uh, this <laughs> All right, very good, guys. So thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. I have another class. So you have a very nice week. You have a very nice weekend, right, guys. Night. See yeah, you. you too. See you, guys. Have a good night. night. Guys. You too, you too. Applause for us. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right, see you, guys. See you. Hmm.